Hi everybody, welcome to another week of stories. I hope you had a good weekend, even though it's quite hard to tell when the weekend's starting and when it's ending at the moment. But nevertheless, I hope you did something different to uh, normal to make it our weekend. Um, so I'm working from home this morning and wouldn't you know it, I left the twits at school. So I will do a twits video tomorrow. Uh, but today I thought I would share with you a book called Library Mouse, A Friend's Tale. Now, Mrs. Donnerstag bought these um, for my two girls and we've read them and they really enjoyed them. So I hope you like them too. It's about a mouse that lives in a library. OK, so here we go. Sam was a library mouse. It's got some beautiful illustrations in this book. He lived in a little hole in the wall behind the children's books. Sam loved to read and he loved to write too. Everyone loved his little books, but Sam was very shy and no one at the library had ever met him. Once a week, the children at the library met for Writers and Illustrators Club. Do you remember what illustrators are? Yes, they draw the pictures. For our next project, said Mrs. Forrester, the librarian, I would like all of the boys and girls to work with a partner. One of you will be the author, the other will be the illustrator. You will find out how teamwork can make a great book. At the end of the meeting, there was one child left standing by himself. Don't worry, Tom, said Mrs. Forrester. I'll be happy to work with you. Oh. Must have been an odd number in their class. When night came, Sam the library mouse went to do some research for a story he was planning to write. All night long, he studied, jotting down things in his notebook. But as the sun came up, his eyelids grew heavy and he fell asleep. What is he writing there? Squeak! Sam awoke with a start as children started to come into the library. In his hurry to escape, he left his notebook on the table. Tom discovered it on the librarian's desk. Carefully, he opened the cover and turned the pages. Then he went to tug at Mrs. Forrester's sleeve. What's this? said the librarian, flipping through the notebook. From the title of the stories in here, I would guess this belongs to Sam, our mystery author. He's written so many books and yet we've never even met him. Let's put it back on your desk, said Tom, so Sam can come back and find it. And there's some of his books. They're all kind of mouse related books. The Lonely Cheese, Squeak, all sorts of mouse books. <laughs> That night, Sam climbed onto the librarian's desk to look for his notebook. As he hurried back across the desk with his prize in his arms, the mouse stepped across an ink pad and left behind a trail of footprints. Uh -oh. Good morning, Mrs. Forrester, said Tom when he arrived early the next day. Did you bring some ideas for a story we can work on together? Not yet said Tom, and then he noticed the inky marks on the librarian's desk and saw that Sam's notebook was gone. That's impossible, he thought. See the footprints on the desk. When he was sure that nobody was looking, Tom got down on his hands and knees and he peered beneath the library shelves and around the baseboards, not quite certain what he was looking for. Suddenly he saw a little hole in the wall. Now he knew why he was Sam was always writing about mice. It's because he is one. Tom tore a little piece of cheese from a snack he had brought and he left it by the opening. Oh no! Sam cried when he stepped out of the hole at night and saw the cheese. Who left that there? What do they want? Sam thought it might be best to leave the cheese and pretend that he'd never even seen it. 
The next time Tom came to the library, he found the cheese looking dry and lonely, just where he'd left it. He swapped it for a peanut butter cracker. Maybe Sam would like this better, he thought. Indeed, when Sam woke up and smelled the cracker, it was all he could do not to try and gobble it up. Clearly someone had found out where he lived. Sam hoped that if he ignored the food, whoever it was would eventually go away. But Tom did not forget about Sam. He thought about writing a letter to the library mouse, but he wasn't sure what to say. Then he got an idea. He sat down and started to write a story. It was called The Shy One, and this is how it began. Once upon a time, there was someone who was very shy. His name was Sam. People seemed to make him nervous. The children at the library knew what Sam was like because of the books that he wrote. Nobody really knew who Sam was, and that seemed to suit him just fine until one day. That's a good story opening. When he finished writing, Tom folded up the paper and left it just outside the little hole in the wall. That night, Sam read the story from beginning to end. Tom had discovered the one thing Sam could not resist touching, a story. Sam grinned. He remembered Tom as one of the boys in the library. I've got an idea, he said to himself. Then he went into his mouse hole and got to work. When Tom arrived later that week for Writers and Illustrators Club, he felt a little bit guilty. He'd been so busy thinking about Sam that he'd forgotten to do his own work. He got down on his hands and knees to look underneath the reference books. The paper he'd left there was gone. And then he heard the librarian's voice. Tom, what's this I found on my desk? I thought you'd decided to work on a book this week. And then I found the shy one written by you and illustrated by Sam. I can't wait to share it with everyone. Oh no, thought Tom. The story he'd written had me been meant just for Sam's eyes. What if Sam had drawn a boy and a mouse? If Mrs Forrester read it aloud, everybody would find out who Sam really was. And then what? Someone might try to hurt him or chase him away. Please don't read the story, Mrs Forrester, Tom pleaded. You should be proud of your work, the librarian said. And how wonderful that you did it together. I can't wait to hear more about who Sam really is. Uh -oh. When everyone was sat down, Mrs Forrester held up the tiny book and she started to read. Once upon a time, there was someone who was very shy. His name was Sam. People seemed to make him nervous. The children at the library knew what Sam was like because of the books he wrote. But nobody really knew who Sam was and that seemed to suit him just fine. Until one day someone discovered Sam's secret. It was a good thing that he only wanted to be Sam's friend. Mrs. Forrester read the story from beginning to end, and Tom was amazed to see the pictures that Sam had drawn. The illustrations showed two mice instead of just one. Oh, do you see what the mouse did? And one of them was named Tom. So tell us, said Mrs. Forrester, just who is this Sam who writes so many of our books? I just have to ask you, is it you? Oh no, it's not me, answered Tom with a smile. I just wrote the story. Sam is real, but he likes to be private. So that's all I'm going to say. A friend knows how to keep another friend's secret. Well, we know, don't we? When the library was starting to get ready to shut and Tom was sure that no one was watching, he bent to a place he bent to place something on the floor beneath the children's books. Sam woke up that night to find a note outside his hole. Can you read that note? That's right, it says, thanks partner, great work, your friend, Tom. 
Sam sat down at his desk. He had an idea for his own story about friends. He couldn't wait for Tom to read it. Maybe this time his new friend would draw the pictures. What a clever mouse. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that story. If you do want a little extra activity today, and I mean you are very busy now with all the work we're sending home, but I thought it might be quite nice if you had a think about the books that the mouse was writing. Do you remember they were all kind of mouse-themed books? All about cheese and squeaking and other things. Maybe you could have a, a go at designing a front cover of a book written by a mouse. What would it be about? What would it be called? You don't have to write the whole story. You can just draw the front cover. Okay? Right, have a great day. Enjoy your home learning. It's lovely seeing the feedback that you're sending in. Um, keep it up and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. Bye.